what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you guys how to get two free diamonds in mlb the show 21 through the tops now moments drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet please consider doing so we're on the road to 1600 subs man so please be the cool guy girl that helps us get there i really appreciate it but before we hop into the video i gotta give today's comment shout out now this comment shout out is very special to me because my boy jack i'm throwing his comment up on screen right now you guys see what it reads it says i let someone else get the shout out and then he commented again jesse give the shout out to jordan because i got it last time man jordan your comments up on screen right now he put the third place emoji jack you're such a legend bro just this just shows what kind of class act you are i appreciate you bro you probably that would have been your what third or fourth time being first to comment and you're like you know let me give the assist to my boy jordan I appreciate you for that, Jack. You're a legend, bro. And if you guys want to be like my boys, Jack and Jordan, all you guys got to do is be the first person to comment on the YouTube videos. We do this every single video, man. We give a shout out to the first person who comments. And if you guys are like Jack, you guys will give an assist to someone else. But um, like I said, the best way for you guys to do that is turn those post notifications on. Whenever YouTube sends you that post notification, click it, drop a like and drop a comment. And hopefully you guys are the first one, man. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into today's video. So as you guys can see, we have um, a new set of top, tops now moments to do. We get a total of four diamonds right here. But once you complete all the moments, you only get two out of the four diamonds. So let's go through the moments that we're going to have to do to get them. So we get a total of 1,600 stubs for completing this. So this is pretty cool, guys. Don't forget we're getting stubs and XP for completing the moments on top of that 1,600. Um, all right, so let's go through it. So for this first one, we got to pitch one inning. Do not give up a hit. Do not walk a batter. Do not hit a batter. Don't make an error. And this is on what difficulty? Veteran. Okay, this can be a little tedious because veteran difficulty, they like to make some unnecessary contact sometimes. So good luck with this one. On to the next, we got to pitch six innings. Do not give up a run. Do not give up two hits. Oh my gosh, this one looks a little <laughs> tedious. I think that's it's way past that word. It is on rookie difficulty and you do have DeGrom. Now DeGrom has been pitching out of his mind and if you guys don't know that man went from a 93 to a 95 today his price skyrocketed like about 40 50 60 000, and we predicted that next uh, moment we got to do is tally eight total bases with cedric mullins um next one after that strike out 11 batters with screwball okay on rookie difficulty as well and finally we got to tally four extra bases but we get three games to do this with patrick wisdom now we're going to get into the four cards that we get to sell well the four choices that we get to look at but we only get to choose two of them i'm gonna give you guys my input on who i would take personally but don't don't forget guys we're going to be getting all of these cards once the what is it april may when the june monthly awards program comes out but um, i'm going to give you guys my honest my honest choice on who i would go right now so the first choice is cedric mullins He's got 116 contact against righties, 82 contact against lefties, 97 power against righties, and 72 power against lefties with 82 vision. Okay, he's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. He is a center fielder, can play multiple um, outfield positions. He does have 82 fielding, which is nice. I do not like his arm, though, and his speed is pretty nice, too. But his arm and his, re his reaction is good, but his arm is just, I don't know. Cedric Mullins, I don't think I would go him right here. So the person I would go other than Cedric Mullins is my boy Patrick Wisdom. And you guys are going to know why right off the bat. 87 contact against righties, 90 contact against lefties, 105 power against righties, and 108 power against lefties. Ding, ding, ding. This is the reason why I'd say go him over Cedric Mullins because this man has pop. He does have 78 fielding with 76 arms, 74 accuracy with 78 reaction. Now, he's a third baseman, guys, and he does have secondary positions at right field and first base. But honestly, third base... I don't know about you guys, but this he could be my third baseman. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, even Maybe even my first baseman because he's pretty nice, man. He does have a lot of pop. Not to mention we can parallel up these cards. So every stat you guys see here, you can just add five to it if you guys get it to that parallel five. So he's going to be nasty, man. Patrick Wisdom for sure. Between Mullins and Wisdom, I'd go Wisdom. Now let's go on to the last two choices. We have our boy. Where Are they on the second page? Yeah, I believe so. Um, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? I apologize, guys. All right, Tariq Skubal. So he's a left-handed starting pitcher. He does have a nice repertoire, not going to lie. Four-seam changeup, slider, curve, and a cutter. And now his pitch speed differential is a little better than our other choice. He's got 83 stamina, 80 hits per nine, 92 strikeouts per nine with 61 walks per nine, 76 control with 91 below, 95 break. Now that break is key when it comes to the slider and cutter and maybe even the changeup. 
Scooball, he's a nice choice. He's a left-handed pitcher. So if you guys need another left-handed pitcher on your team, um, go ahead and take my boy. But me personally, I would go Michael King. Now, this is why. This man has a sinker. That sinker, hey, say what you want, but that sinker and that cutter action, just for me personally, has worked wonders for me. Wonders. Now, let's go through his stats. So he's got 83 stamina, 72 hits per nine. So this is where this card lacks. His hits per nine is low, which means the PCI is going to be a little bit bigger when you face opponents. 85 strikeouts per nine, 77 walks per nine with 76 control. Also not the best. 89 velo with 94 breaks. So he does have 94 breaks, so that cutter is going to be cutting a little bit. And also that circle change. Now his pitch speed differential isn't the best either. He has 93, with, no, 95, which is his highest, and 78, which is his lowest. So the pitch speed var variation is not the best. But me personally, like I said, I'm a fan of the sinker cutter. Um, one and two pitches so Michael King would be my choice and he's also a right-handed pitcher now keep in mind my guys if you guys need another left-handed pitcher Scooball Scooball might be your choice don't get me wrong this Scooball is really nice that cutter with the four seam and the slider it's going to be very very effective for me personally like I said I like that sinker cutter action so this is who I would go but yeah guys so that's where I'm going to end today's video man drop a like if you guys enjoyed that please comment down below do you guys agree with my choices? Do you guys disagree with my choices? Would you guys go Scooball over King? And then would you guys go Mullins over the other player? Let me know down in the comments because I think my two choices are solid and that's who I'm going to be going. But I really want to hear you guys' thoughts as well. But that's going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys did. It's been your boy Jesse D123. And I'm out.